Let's now look at how we can withdraw cryptocurrency and fiat currency from our Qcoin account here on our Qcoin app. Let's start with crypto. So we're going to go to the bottom right, click on assets, and then we're going to click on withdraw all the way on the top. And then we can decide on what crypto we want to withdraw. So I'm just going to withdraw some Solana. So I'm going to type in SOL in the top search bar and then choose Solana. And then all I need to do is paste in the receiver address right here into the wallet address field. So I'm going to withdraw to my Binance account. So I'm going to go over to my Binance account and then I'm going to copy the deposit address for Solana um, by clicking on this icon. Then I'm going to go back to Qcoin. I'm going to paste it right into this field right here. And then you want to make sure that it's the correct network, the correct, the correct blockchain. So it already recognizes that this is the Solana network. And then we can decide on how much we want to withdraw. So let's withdraw 0.2 Solana. And we can also type in any remarks if you want to, but that's fine. And then we need to click on confirm. All right, so then again, make sure the amount is correct and the address is also correct. Then click on confirm. And now we have to verify our withdrawal by typing in our trading password getting a verification code to our email and also using the 2FA code with um, our two-factor authentication app or simply using a text message if you haven't set up Google Authenticator or Authy. So do that and then we can click on confirm and now the withdrawal has gone through and we need to wait a couple of minutes depending on the crypto and the blockchain and the time of day until the crypto will actually be visible on your wallet or on the other exchange that you have that you have withdrawn it to. So now let's look at how to withdraw fiat currency. So US dollars, euros and so on from your Qcoin account. So Qcoin is not really a fiat based platform. So it's not really possible to withdraw directly from Qcoin. The best option or the option that, the option that I would recommend is to actually get another account on another exchange then withdraw the crypto to the other exchange where it's a lot easier to withdraw your fiat currency from your exchange. However, there is a way how you can withdraw your fiat currency from Qcoin and that is using the peer-to-peer -peer, uh, market. So what you can do is go to home and then we go to buy crypto and then we switch from buy to sell and then we can sell US dollar Tether, Ethereum and Bitcoin for fiat currency. So it looks like you can sell it directly here on Qcoin and then they will just transfer you over the money to your bank account. However, this is not really the case. So let's say we want to sell 100 US dollar Tether, click on sell. And then we can see we have some different options. We have PayPal, Perfect Money. These are all like third party payment providers. And it looks like they will just PayPal you the money. However, this is not the case because as you can see here, the channel is C2C, which means customer to customer. This is the peer to peer network. So if I'm gonna click on confirm right now, type in my trading password, then we can see, actually I already have a, an order right here. So normally you would see um, this right here. So um, now uh, I would have taken somebody's offer in the peer to peer network. So somebody would have to now PayPal me 100 US dollars and then I can release my 100 US dollar tether to his Qcoin account. So this is basically the same thing as if you just go to buy crypto P2P and then you can see the P2P market right here. So when I go to sell, I can see that what people are willing to pay for my US dollar tether. So these are basically people wanting to get their fiat currency into Qcoin and then they can trade cryptocurrency. So you can try one of these options. Basically, you can see what they're willing to pay here. So they're willing to pay $1 for one US dollar tether, which is a fair price, obviously. And then you can also see the payment methods that they have set up. So Dave Trade, for example, he uh, uses WISE and then PM. I don't know what that is. Um, then I have tried to use this one here, Dave Trade, who was offering to use PayPal. So, and then you can also see how much they are willing to pay basically, or how much they're willing to buy. And the same thing with buying. So you can also buy crypto here on this market, but usually the prices are a bit worse. So you're going to have to pay $1.06 for uh, one US dollar tether. So this is basically the only way how you can get um, your crypto out of Qcoin if you don't want to use 
uh, another exchange.